Let's take a look at how to create a mover. Now, mover is just a simple kind of interp actor that's already got some matinee setup already built into it. It's very nice if you need to create a simple lift to get a player up to another story, or maybe when they step on it, it doesn't necessarily have to move up and down. It could move sideways to take them across a gap. All sorts of ways to use these. They're extremely easy to set up, even easier than a door. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to start off in the content browser, and I'm going to grab SLT Bridge SM Bridge Panel 01E. So it's just a static mesh that you could use for the base of a uh, an elevator-like object. Now you can use any mesh you like. This is just the one I'm picking on. Let's right-click. And instead of dragging this in, I'm going to right-click here on the floor and choose Add Actor. And you want to bring this in as a mover. So not an interp actor, but a mover. And we could position this a little bit better. Let me jump over to the top view real quick. And we, we'll just kind of slide this over so that the side of it kind of gets close to the edge of the, uh, the balcony way up here. In fact, let me bring down my drag grid. And we'll get it right on the edge. That's really good. Okay, so what we're hoping for is that the player can stand on this and it will simply rise them up and they can now run up here and get the rocket launcher if they want to, as opposed to having to climb some stairs. And we don't want to nudge that like so. But if we take a look over in Kismet, now that we've added this as a mover, some stuff has already been done for us. You see we have interp actor zero here. If I double click this... We already have an event and a matinee already in place. Now take a look at the outputs of our event. It's a mover event already attached to the interp actor. It has pawn attached and detached. What that means is a player is standing on this object. That's kind of what attached translates directly to, that they are on top of, and if this object moves, the player needs to move along with them. You also have open finished. This is what will fire once the elevator has made it to its its actual top height. So it's going to travel up when it gets to the top. What's it going to do when it gets there? And in this case, you can see that it's going to play the matinee backwards. If it hits the actor, meaning like, let's say we uh, ride the elevator to the top, but we jump off it and stand underneath it. If it hits us, it's going to change direction and go back up to the top. So pretty straightforward. However, the matinee sequence has no keyframe data just yet. So I'm going to double click the matinee already has a movement track in it, so it's ready to go, but it doesn't have any keyframes. Here with the time slider at zero, I'll go ahead and press enter with the movement track selected. That'll create our first key. And let's just do, let's say a two second move, which will feel kind of slow, at least relative to elevators and whatnot that you may see in a game like Unreal Tournament. And we'll press enter again to create our second keyframe. Make sure you see the words adjust key one in the lower left corner of the viewport. And we'll just slide this up so it's level or close to it with the edge of our little balcony. Now we can scrub back through that and see the playback. Now I'm going to shorten up our animation so it's only two seconds long. So I'll grab the little red flag here on the right and drag that back to two seconds. And there we have it. So we have an animation all set up. So now we can close matinee. Let's jump back into Kismet for just a moment though. And I'll step back into the interp actor. Now, there are a couple, just really one property we need to be aware of. Uh, the one is stay open time. This is how long our elevator will stay at its top position. Or, you know, if you've actually set up a door like this, this would be how long the door stayed open, etc. So a second and a half is pretty good, though. If you needed to change that, you could. Now, if we were to test this, we would have a problem. Here is our problem. It doesn't seem to work. Now, currently, it's a little hard to tell what the problem is because our mesh is so thin. But if you had a thicker mesh, it'd be painfully obvious. The player is not colliding with our interp actor. So I'm going to select the interp actor and press F4 to open up its properties. Expand collision. And notice that collision type is set to no collision. Set this to collide block all. And you're good to go. So now let's test this out. Choose play from here. And we have a simple lift. It takes us up to the top floor, and now we can get the rocket launcher and everybody's happy. Now also, if we let this go up to the top and now stand underneath it, watch this. It bumps into us and goes right back up, so it's not going to crush us.
So that's just a quick look at how to use the mover system as opposed to setting up an interp actor manually. And that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs>